as I said previously, you know, Perfect Dawa is completely sincere. He believes what he's saying. But what he is supporting, what he is believing in, is nothing to do with traditional Islam. You want to no, use the nothing. term Islam, sure, whatever. But it's definitely not what has been practiced for 1,400 years. He believes in something different. He believes in not unique, right? He's not the only person who believes this, as he pointed out several times. But it certainly has been a very small minority of Muslims historically and today as well. And I'll just reiterate that I think that your your fight would be a lot easier if you weren't trying to tie it to, you know, using the term Islam, which people understand to be something completely different than what you believe in. So that's all for us today. Uh, Closing words from you, Perfect Dawa. <clears throat> Not just, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, first of all, I have to say that uh, maybe we are not uh, yet, uh, you know, the majority, but <clears throat> according to Quran, we will be the majority in the future. Uh, Quran says, my righteous people will rule and inherit the planet. So we will, uh, uh, you know, especially uh, by, by this uh, technique today that we can talk and reach our voice uh, to everyone around the world, uh, then we will, uh, you know, become the majority, maybe take uh, decades, yeah, but we are uh, on the right uh, path and we are, you know, we will reach uh, our goal, uh, inshallah, very soon. All right. And thank you for <clears throat> being here, David Wood. Thank you. Thank you for uh, hosting it told us and I appreciate it very much and please don't forget to push these extremists on their live streams to debate me because I challenge them I want to debate them and they all run away okay please all right well that is definitely some uh, faith there some confidence there hasn't happened yet in 1400 years but who knows maybe someday perfect Dawah's version of Islam will be in the majority final thoughts from you David uh, yeah, so as I uh, was pointing out earlier, um, two main possibilities before us right now, uh, either Allah means what it really sounds like he's saying, so either he, you've got the verses and you've got what Allah says, and either he means what he sounds like he's saying, in which case these these passages are are clearly calling for violence and uh, Muslims over the centuries who are following these verses have interpreted the Quran correctly, or perfect Dawah is correct in his interpretations, in which case the Quran is uh, so unclear that the vast majority of Muslims over the centuries have um, have completely misunderstood it. Practically speaking, there's no difference between those alternatives. If Allah means what he says and he, he calls for violence, then that leads to lots of violence. If Allah doesn't mean what he says, but it really sounds like he's calling for violence, then you still get you still get violence. So there's no difference, uh, practically speaking. I'll stick with my method of trying to show uh, Muslims that Muhammad is not a true prophet and therefore they shouldn't be following the Quran. But for those Muslims who are going to remain Muslims, I do wish Perfect Dawah all the success in the world because if someone's going to follow Islam, it would be better for all of us if they are following a more peaceful version of Islam that doesn't call for the violent subjugation of the entire world. Thank you.